The food prices from the Miami Grand Prix have people outraged on the internet. Welcome back to Break Hard. My name is Matt. And yeah, the Miami Grand Prix hasn't really produced any memorable things for us, especially on track. Off track, it's actually produced a lot of memorable things, like it's DH Gate wannabe Monaco Marina, which is actually just a few yachts put on car stands in the parking lot of an NFL stadium surrounded by plywood that has a wrap over it to look like water. If you want to be Jesus, you can actually walk on water here because, well, it's not real at the end of the day. They love to truck in a bunch of loads of sand, make it appear that there's a beach there. There's not a beach. In fact, you're 38 minutes, about 20 miles from South Beach. So yeah, it's not exactly on the beach. It's in Miami Gardens and the car park around an NFL stadium. And maybe the most memorable thing that has come out of the on-track action was Charles Leclerc getting stuck in an awesome power situation during free practice one on Friday. Other than that, the race at Miami has been pretty brutal. That's why we continue to make fun of some of the accommodations around the circuit. But now, when you look at what the concession prices are, they have people outraged on the internet, especially for the Hard Rock Beach Club. So let's take a look at those real quick. So let me preface, these prices are from the Hard Rock Beach Club, which is, of course, an upscale, a premium seating option at the Miami Grand Prix. We'll get into regular concession prices in a second, but for the beach club, Here's what you're looking at. Really expensive pricing. A main lobster roll, $280. Carne asada nachos, which are just tortilla chips. You've had nachos before. You can go down and buy a bag of Tostitos right now for like five bucks. Yeah, that's going to set you back $190. $180, actually. You want a bowl of fruit? Some pink pineapple, kiwi mixed in there, a few other things. Two of the worst fruits, by the way. I absolutely despise both of them. That's going to set you back $190 for some fruit. The Canadians might actually think that's a great deal because they're charging like $18 a pound for grapes to our friends in the great north. And that's just highway robbery, if we're being completely honest. Oh, you want to add an ounce of caviar to whatever option that you purchase here? Yeah, one ounce, that's $400. I looked it up. I've never been in the market for caviar personally. I don't want to eat dead fish like that. Sushi, fine. Dead fish eggs? Not so great. There's certain areas in the South which would absolutely never let you do that. Eating dead babies? Oh, you can't do that around here. That's going to set you back $400 an ounce. $400 an ounce. I'd get my dog to come up here right now because that was the best $400 I ever spent. But he's downstairs enjoying whatever toy he has out of his toy bin. A couple of the other things that we have on here. Steamed buns, which, eh, that's $120. Not, not the, I guess not the worst, if we're being, you know, completely honest. The F1 platter, which you would assume might be something different than A1A sliders. Secret sauce. Ooh, secret sauce. Is that like MJ's secret sauce? Ribeye quesadilla. Somebody get Marshawn Lynch. I just wanted motherfucking quesadilla. Chipotle sauce, crispy chicken tenders, and honey mustard. That's $290. That's almost $300 for some tenders a quesadilla and some a1a sliders a crispy wing board which you know is just them like on a piece of adler that they went down to lowe's and purchased and then went ahead and branded with the miami grand prix logo serve a uh, a board of crispy wings here 190 dollars. now if we're basing this off of buffalo wild wing prices about a dollar a wing or so you're looking at 180, 190 wings. You and I both know they're probably getting like two dozen wings for the price of $190. Don't let B-dubs know that they're gonna jack their prices through the roof again, unless you go on Tuesdays or Thursdays. If you know, you know. So I say all this, so let me preface. This is not just a single serving amount. This is a multiple serving amount for your, you know, your cabana area or your lounge area, whatever you wanna to refer to it as. How many lobster rolls do you get? Uh, up in the air, doesn't actually say. How many wings? Again, does not say. So this is more than one serving, but it still is outlandish when you look at it. Now, let's talk about the beverage prices for the Hard Rock Beach Club, because I have a feeling that's going to actually set people back even further than where we're currently at. So starting off the bat right here, you can see the menu. It's pricey. However, the buckets, five per bucket of Miller Lite, $55, Heineken, $60. If we're being completely honest, that's not the worst pricing 
I've ever seen before. Like twelve dollars a beer, eleven dollars a beer. Uh, yeah, I, you're not going to find me complaining about that because that's still cheaper than baseball prices. I'm pretty sure the last time I went to a baseball game a couple weeks ago, beers were floating around the $15 mark, all the way up to $18, depending on what you were getting. So, yeah, I mean, seems like a bargain, which is outlandish to even say. You want water? $25 for five waters. Again, $5 for a bottle of water, as ridiculous as it sounds. I understand $5 for a bottle of water is absurd, but when you're looking at it from a concession standpoint... Not that bad, maybe. Where it gets really ridiculous at is when you get down to the whiskey, the bottle list over here. For a bottle of Crown Royal, which is, what, a mid-tier whiskey? I don't drink whiskey, I can tell you honestly. $560 a bottle. Woodford Reserve Bourbon? $560. $560. Also, if you are a person that says that you love bourbon, I just assume you don't have a personality. Nobody actually likes bourbon. Tito's, $560. What? What are we doing here? The most ridiculous is the Clase Azul Ultra, which is a tequila. That will set you back $12,000. Yes, the price of a used Honda Accord from a decade ago, since used cars are still through the roof. $12,000. I, I I can't begin to imagine why you would spend $12,000 on a bottle of tequila, but good on you if you do. Jack Daniels, Tennessee whiskey, $560. The people in Lynchburg did not die, so you could serve $560 bottle. I just don't know. I don't think anybody actually died, but you get the gist here. You understand what I'm saying. Everything's overpriced, which again, if you're paying a premium to sit in this Hard Rock Beach Club area, you know it's going to be expensive. But at the same time, you shouldn't get extorted just because you want to have a drink and make sure you have something to eat for the day. That's ridiculous. So, as ridiculous as those prices are, we also have images from general concessions around the racetrack. And they're much more reasonable. You can get a burger for $18, a chicken burger for $18, uh, the Heineken, $13, water, soda, $5 and $6, Yeah, not that crazy. Honestly, that's, again, like concession pricing at a baseball game or a football game. Is a burger being $18 ridiculous? Yeah, I would say yes, it is, especially for an 8-ounce burger. But at the same time, when you go to most restaurants now, a burger's pushing, what, $15 to $18, depending on what you get. So it's not super crazy. Any hot dog with fries is $22. That might be a little excessive. Then you move on and you look at, the pizza offering that's amore because I, they couldn't come up with anything better than the canva standard graphic with name on it pepperoni slice eleven dollars that's a little bit excessive if we're being honest the eleven dollar slice for pepperoni mm, don't love that you can go to pizza hut right now and get a large one topping pizza for twelve dollars saw the commercial just a little bit ago heineken thirteen dollars again pretty standard uh pricing there And then if you want to look at the fried chicken stand, the OG sandwich, $19, chicken Caesar wrap, $17, and a French fry fry platter, $10. So yeah, while the Miami Grand Prix isn't exactly the most enjoyable thing we've ever seen, the concession pricing is pretty on par with other things we've seen. The merch prices, I don't know. I haven't seen the merch yet. I assume it's going to be a lot like what we saw at the United States Grand Prix last year where they were charging $140 for a Red Bull hat. But for the food outside of the club, eh, it's pretty reasonable in the grand scheme of things. So let me know in the comments what you think about it. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.